What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, we are here again, and today we're gonna take Pebbles out, and we're gonna go find. We're on the uh, other side of our lake, across that base. Set as that breeze. Um, I, was, I haven't crossed this area yet today, so it had to load in. Should be good now. I know a really good mining location and I'm going to tell you guys the little mining secrets that I know and how to get as much or as humanly possible for a Ankylo. I'm going to test and see if the Ankylo actually gathers more than me or if it just gathers it in an AOE fashion. I think it is still, it's still said to gather more. And uh, from what I've tested it, I was able to get like 300 ore within like 20 minutes. So. It's pretty good at gathering it. She's pretty quick on it. This has become Sass's favorite pet by far now. I'm gonna go help out this other and kill it. Kill it too. It's got green spikes. Pretty neat, but not my type. Kill is dead. Eating my food. Okay, now I killed it. I killed the scorpion and the raft, they're not the end so. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go butcher him. As always, I'm using a pickaxe to get the most meat as possible. Gotta be careful of the stupid uh, uh, those Argentaluses in this area, cause they will swoop down and steal my dead animals there before I can butcher them, and it's very annoying. And uh, if they're dead, always check for an inventory. If they got an inventory and stuff, you want to pick it up and take it. Now for the um, the, the scorpion, I use the axe because it gives more chit. Which is important. We are in a full chit and armor set, and uh, just yesterday they added this neat Rexbone helmet. As you can see right there, that's what it looks like. You cannot dye it, however, so it's stuck being bone color. I mean, it, it claims you can dye it, you can go into the dyeing interface and all that, but you cannot actually dye it. Ooh, he had a pike. I'll take that. And butcher. So I think this rock right here has some metal in it. It has a kind of like a glow to it. On one side there, maybe. There's ways to see it. On low graphics, they shine really bright. And it's like the bright pink colored rock. But I'm on medium graphics, so I don't know how well that's going to work here, but I do know where they are, and I'm going to oh, that's somebody else. I think that's my tried meat tiger. Or it's that other guy who's always hunting around us. By the way, guys, we did find an albino rex, and so we do have that now. We have a uh, albino mammoth as well. Uh, we were taming a stegosaur with bright pink fluorescent uh, spine things and we had another Ankylo already tamed but the server crashed and we lost all that and then so uh, we went and tried to tame that Stego again and then it got killed by a freaking saber tooth and uh, yesterday I had a Bronto down and I had Turtle and they both got killed by a saber as well <laughs> We're very, very bad luck with our pets recently. And I have been trying to get a Pteranodon for Sass, but, uh, yeah. Not lucky. There's one of those Argentavises up there. So these guys are really good for gathering all types of materials. They're perfect all round pets. I need to get out of this mess because I can't move. The 
this rain does not help my friends. So there's a uh, Argentalis over there fighting with a saber, fighting with another saber. Uh, I think we should go over there and take them all out. But this is the mining trip and there is ways to tell which rocks are rich with minerals. I think this green one here is one. Maybe. It's got spots on it. I'm not sure how they look on this graphic setting. But I know there is one around here. And uh, the metal is very important at this point because I need it for the metal tools and they break. They break uh, relatively slow now. But when they do break, you still have to go back and repair them. I'm gonna go pick a fight with them, just get them off my back. I don't want them anywhere near me. So it's like 174.31 as the version of the game now. They're after me. <laughs> oh, they just made the worst mistake of their life. Totally. Cow's dead, both Saber is dead. These uh, Ankylos are really overpowered. They're perfect all around, like I said. They're good for battle, they're good for mining, they're good for farming, uh, berries. Not so much for wood gathering, but they can gather wood. I will take that Trink Arrow, but that, you don't have anything else I want. And uh, yeah, so basically we've been using pebbles a lot lately because Sassy's new favorite pet there. She actually prefers pebbles over spike because pebbles can run for a very, very long time. Oh, that's a nice looking uh, tiger there. Yeah, but I don't know. It died, it shouldn't have attacked me. I mean, I, I kind of picked the fight with it, but still. That's the one that looks like sugar right there. You don't have inventories, not fair. Give me more inventories. So we've been gathering a ton of wood. Uh, we do have a fabricator made now. And the first floor of our base is completely finished. So it's getting, it's coming together pretty nicely. And then once I get her a flying mount, we're going to scout out another area where it's rich with metal and then we're going to um, basically make a giant metal base there. Which means it's probably going to have to be on a mountain or near a cave because that's the best place to get the uh, metals. Alright, so as mentioned before, uh, we have to go back that way. It's the only place I know where the are. Uh, you might see there's two crates up there. Those are my crates. I put them there because I had them full of metal. That's like 400 weights worth of metal. It was a lot, and this little end kill it couldn't carry it all. So there should be one rich rock around this area, or two rather. And they're kind of low lying rocks, that one there might actually have some metal in it but it's not what I'm looking for. This right here is what I'm looking for. See how it kind of has those stripes there? On low graphics, those will shine really, really bright. Bright pink. Uh, yeah, that didn't give me anything. That should have given me metal. What the heck? You not making any sense, game. It was working just fine yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, it's best to do on low graphics. I think these two right here will have them too. Yeah, these are it. 
Okay, you see these ones, these are the ones that are actually the uh, metal ones. These are the rich metal ones, so you will get a ton of metal from these. You can get up to 50 from a single rock using an Ankylo. Okay, there we go. 5, 10, 14, 15. Okay, so there's 15 in that one. I'm gonna manually mine one of these, and this area is full of these rich rocks. There's like 7 or 8 of them around here. So it's pretty nice, because they respawn in the same exact areas all the time. Okay, so that got 14. Oh, 15. I'm gonna see how many I can get. This looks like it's gonna even come close to that. Seven, nine, eleven, twelve, twelve. Okay. So yeah, the Ankylo can mine better than the player. Twelve, and the Ankylo gets three more out of it. Not too much more, but they can get three to forty some more. So yeah. Well, you see how the rocks are kind of like tiger stripe. These shine bright pink on the uh, low settings. It's pretty neat. It's great for helping you figure out where to go. A lot of times you don't get as much. There's one over here. Also, guys, I've discovered a nice little thing during the night time. If it becomes night time, you can press tab and type in gamma and you can put four and it's daylight again <laughs> but um, it also affects your your um, inventory screens and all that so it's really bright and hard to see I prefer gamma three because it allows us to see the night and it won't be pitch black but at the same time it's still dark like you see the big difference there and the default game is gamma 2 this is the default see how much better gamma 3 is and it doesn't take away from the whole dark element this is the one I'm, I'm gonna stay with because it allows you guys to see what's going on during the night without actually taking away from the whole it's dark but yeah, Gamma 4 is literally daylight at night, so if you guys don't want to deal with the dark and anything, you can just do that whole Gamma 4 thing. Okay, I know there's another one over there. We'll get to that. This area is full of them, and I can go further up on this mountain. Nothing can kill this and kill them. I can fight everything easily. She's killed Rexes, she's killed Spinos, and uh, we do have the Spinosaur pet now, he's leveled up quite nicely, he is great for swimming. And there's a Plesiosaur in our lake, but uh, I haven't even tried to tame that thing, it's level 40. That would take forever, and with the recent crashes and us constantly losing our pets to crashes, I've just kind of stopped trying to tame everything. It's just not worth it right now. Not until they fix their taming system. Because if it doesn't save once it's tamed, then what's the point? Because it's just, yeah, not cool. Our server is not the only one being affected by that. There is a ton of servers being affected, and they're all official servers, no less. So uh, they really need to fix their um, losing pets when it crashes. Or just fix the crashes altogether. But yeah, crashes are bound to happen in an alpha. There's not too much that can be done about that. Okay, let's drop that. Let's drop these. We've got plenty of that. She's got tons of berries we don't need either. I will eat this 100 stack though. And so basically that, that's pretty much how the mining goes in this game and it's like uh, it takes two metal to make one ingot so you need a lot of metal for the metal walls because it takes like 60 ingots which is insane. 
it is a very very high price for what it really is like metal walls should not cost that much when it takes two per I can understand if it took one per then it would be no problem but two per that's just too much of a, that's too high of a price yeah, it's just really too much now we got tons of narco bears at home too and we've also figured out how to do the farming so our farm is up and running we do have some citronal berries being farmed there and we have two narco berry farms and a, um, a rock carrot farm I don't need the stem, the stem berries so they're kind of pointless right now alright so I'm gonna ditch the rocks because that's just extra weight I'm gonna ditch this flint because we're gonna get tons of that anyway she's got 86 metal and now it's 98 and you guys seeing how short of time that took to get that much metal with an end kilo it's pretty nice uh, but knowing where your metal is is probably a better idea but yeah I figured I'd take away from the pitch black thing at night and uh, kind of give you guys something to see while I'm roaming around in the black well it's not so much black anymore because I see it too but yeah. it just makes life easier I mean if you guys really want me to go back to the whole black and black and realism then sure I can do that but I've never seen a night that black you know so and since this is like earlier time, the moon was actually closer to the earth, therefore it's a lot bigger, but I don't know, it's weird. This isn't even earth after all. Because the, the sun rises in the west and sets in the east. <laughs> Completely backwards. And this map is kind of glitchy, so I kind of slide and bounce and rubber band all over. It's nothing uh, to do with the recording. It's just how this mountain does if this end killer doesn't like to climb hills. But it does like to mine. And she's good for it. Sass don't want me using her to mine. <laughs> Sass is like, you need to get your own so I can keep my pet from you and you don't use her to mine. I'm just like, uh, okay. I tried to get my own. I had him too. He was actually 100% tamed and the crash took it away. But uh, the weird thing about it is that it wasn't rollback, you know, because I was taming a mammoth, I was taming a stego, and I was taming an ankylo. The ankylo tamed all the way, we named him, and then uh, the server crashed, the stego was gone, the ankylo was gone, but the mammoth remained, and the mammoth was there after the other two, so it was weird. Like, it should have never been that way. It's like a massive glitch or something. Alright, we gotta glitch our way down this uh, hill here. There we go. It's just like those mountain rocks just don't uh, record as being real terrain or something. Okay, that's another one right there. It is pretty easy to find them once you know what you're looking for. They're just pretty much all the way around rocky areas, nothing more. And on mountains, you'll find a lot more of them, which is why I'm on this mountain. I'm actually, even at the base of this mountain, I'm nowhere even near the top. The top goes up for a very long time up that way. And this mountain is the northern mountain, which spans from the east coast to the north coast. I actually got lost on this uh, yesterday, I think it was. And I was like running around and <laughs> I ended up running all the way around it and getting lost so I found myself on the northern coast and then I walked, worked my way back east and found my way back home. But yeah, it was pretty hectic, that's for sure. Alright guys, so I'm going to call it here. This is going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the mining and that kind of showed you how to do it. Having an Ankylo is definitely worth it guys. She's it's a good pet all the way around. It can fight, it can defend itself. Nothing can kill it because it's so small and uh, 
if anything attacks it, she can hit it with the tail and send it flying. And at the same time, it can mine, it can gather berries, and it can gather wood if you really don't want to get off the mount to gather wood. But it's not going to be anywhere near as much wood as you can gather yourself. But she cannot gather fiber. There is not a pet yet that I've seen that can gather fiber. I don't think there is one. But, uh, alright guys, so that's going to be it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. See you.